Okay everyone, this is Irene from the Field Guide and today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to drive US Route 9W over the mountain from Cornwall, New York to West Point, New York without having an accident. Okay, so we're entering our first upgrade. The highest part of this mountain on the road, I believe, I could be wrong, believe it's 1300 feet nothing compared to out west should be doable it's a four laner meaning that there are two, no I'm sorry it's a two laner which actually means there are two lanes going in one direction so if you have one lane going in one direction it's a one laner if you have two lanes like this going in one direction, it's two lanes. Or both directions. You'll notice there are Jersey, what's called Jersey divides in the middle of the road. At one time, that was a grass medium. And for all the people who had to travel the mountain, especially the people who worked at West Point, who lived off the base because it took an act of Congress to get a day off if it was a bad snowstorm. Um, they've uh, laxed that a bit over the years because of some of the problems we've had. In fact, there's a big crack in one. How the hell did that happen? I can't imagine. But anyhow, there used to be the grass medium there, and they uh, we used to use it uh, by putting two wheels on it to gain traction to get over the mountain. And everybody took it slow. It wasn't a race. It was not a race. We just passed the flagpole. That's the landmark along this road. Uh, there used to be a flagpole up there. Um, if anybody knows, leave it in the comments. Uh, there used to be someone who used to raise that flag. Flagpole is long gone now. So I'm averaging about 50, 52 miles an hour. Speed limit is anywhere between 45 to 55 miles. The reason they put up the Jersey Divides in the center is because people started driving over into the other lane. I'm not going to go into why. Who knows? We're coming up on the old driveway on the right up here for the Con Ed property, which the PIPC finally jumped on almost at the 11th hour. Con Ed wanted to tear up the mountain and build a giant, um, uh, well, what do you call it, power plant. Um, strangely enough, that was back in the 70s, strangely enough, uh, my dad was all for it because he saw that the taxes were going to be a problem for his kids and he wanted to see a really good tax base, but even though he was a native of the area, it, something like that really would have destroyed the look of the area. And. Uh, I understand where he was coming from, but I'm kind of glad it didn't happen. All right, now this is where there's a lot of water runoff. And uh, even on a good day, it can cause some problems. So what do you do? What am I doing right now? I'm slowing down. This area is called Crow's Nest. Beautiful view of Putnam County and West Point right below. Sometimes there are rocks that fall down. So you just have to slow down. I'm averaging about 45, 50 miles an hour right now. Totally doable. People are passing me because, you know, everybody's in a big rush. Faster, faster, faster. That's a book, actually. Can't remember the author's name, but he wrote it after he was disabled by a speeding driver. Can't remember his name. In fact, he lives right across the river. Garrison. Alright, so we're heading down towards the end of the mountain pass, down past uh, Glycerin Hollow and Black Rock Forest Preserve. Up to the left down the hill is the West Point Golf Course. And, uh, you know, you're going to freewheel a little bit. Uh, we all drive automatics these days, not too many standards. So you just want to tap the brakes a little. Just a little. And I'm still averaging about 50, oh, somewhere between 48 and 52 miles an hour. There is no reason to speed through here. None whatsoever. And look at that. We're 
almost to the end of the mountain pass. And did I have an accident? Nope. And nobody else did either, which is a good, really good thing. So that's how you do it. You just take it easy. There's no rush. And, oh, I thought that was a state trooper right there. I was, oh, yes, it is, actually. Okay, so that was a, that was a state trooper and a big old Ford SUV. Boy, he took me by surprise. He didn't see me filming though. And you shouldn't be filming while you're driving, but I was heading up on the mountain and I couldn't resist it because the, I can't believe, never in my life have I ever seen so many accidents on this road. It's, I, you could say they're getting worse at it or they're getting better at it, but there's no reason for it. So there's your demo. That's how I drive the mountain. That's how I've always driven it. Never had a problem ever, ever in my entire driving career. So be careful out there, everybody. Use caution. Pay attention. And have a good day. Bye-bye.